I turn around, I take four steps or whatever, and I look, and there's Alex Guerrero coming down on my left, you know, coming down this way. I'm coming back towards, say, Radio Row. And he looks over to me, and he's like, my man! And I said, Alex, what's up? And we did the this thing. And did we, you a man hug? We did the, yeah. We wow, leaned, leaned bro in. hug? Bro hug. And we, we then proceeded to talk for about, I'd say, 15, 20 minutes. That's on Kirk time. That's about five. Well, three minutes. <laughs> uh, 50 exchange phone numbers. Did you? Um, and so we talked about, I mean, we talked about sort of everything. We started, first of all, I said, you know, what, where's Brady at? How's he feeling? Feels good. Um, and, and I asked him about the whole thing with Alex. And his take was, he said, he's not mad really at you guys. He's mad at the way it was handled overall. It seems like there was some communication issues between the Patriots and Brady and EEI and the Patriots and Brady and us. And that's sort of more, put, put it this way, it wasn't like he, he hadn't known about this for days before he called in. It's, I Now I understand more why he acted as quickly as he did when he talked to us. He so was you, angry. You, I mean, I believe that he just found out that, that moment or, you know, a few minutes before I don't think that. I don't think he's on Twitter all weekend. He's not. I don't think he's listening to Monday night, which is stupid. He should. He should. But I don't think he does. I, I think he listens to the afternoon show, but he shouldn't, Definitely. Right? Yes. Um, no, he definitely should. Now, Alex Guerrero listens to the show more than Tom Brady does. Guerrero, not a, as you'd imagine, not a big fan of mine on the air, not a big fan of the show, and I think some of that has bled into Brady when it comes to Guerrero. I don't think Brady's thrilled the way we've covered Guerrero. In the Boston market, overall, has covered Guerrero. And Guerrero said, I have a story to tell. He said, this, the, the stuff that was in Boston Magazine, not representative, not true. I never said this about cancer. I never said this. I never sold this. Uh, you know, the whole we, we've heard this argument from him. I said, fine. I said, he said, I'd like to come on somewhere and have a conversation. I said to him, I'm not saying it's because it's me, but you should come on with somebody like me, like Jerry, who will ask you tough questions. If you go on with the Boston version of Jim Gray, People are just going to mock you. They, some guy goes on to ask you softball questions. People are going to mock you for so that. So what time is he on today? 7.45. Excellent. Yeah. So I, I, we had a good talk. Uh, he knew I was a runner. He said, listen, how are you feeling? I said, actually, the hamstring's a little tight. He said, anytime you want, <laughs> swing by. We'd love to hear it from him. And I think, look, look, I don't know. There's a chance. I would say in the off season, he said, there's definitely a chance. So we shall see.